the channel and I'm here today with a special pickup upgrade video. This is my Squire Paranormal Telecaster SJ, which is basically a Telecaster and a Jazzmaster body. If you saw my original video about this guitar, you'll know that I was so impressed by this pickup and this pickup that even though I'd originally planned on replacing them, I wasn't sure I was going to. But after much reflection, I decided that I would. And I have something special for the bridge position. I've actually, it's September as I record this. I have had this since January uh, because I got a special uh, offer on it on Reverb, or a special notification. And I've just not had anything really to put it in until now. Uh, because a couple things, because it's just a bridge pickup, I'll tell you what it is here in a moment, that uh, like for example, the Mad Cat Stratocaster style bridge pickup. Thought about putting in the American Original, but I have another set in mind for that, which will, might be coming up here in a few months. Uh, and then I want the Jason Isbell set for the Thin Line, but I think this is perfect because it is a single Telecaster pickup. Now, what is it, you might ask, I keep going on, is a Seymour Duncan Custom Shop, and I've never had a Custom Shop before, quarter pound vintage output. So, as you can see, it has the distinctive quarter inch pull pieces, but unlike the regular production quarter pound, which is wound quite hot, uh, I've done a video on that uh, pickup, uh, a good, well, a couple of videos about a guitar that the quarter pound set before. It's a wonderful sound. It's one of my favorites, but it's very hot. I think off the top of my head, uh, the output is around 15K resistance. It is 8.73 on this. And this was uh, made on January 3rd, 2024 by... The legendary MJ. So, see, it's a very nice pickup here. I would guess that's a copper plated steel plate. And what I'm going to do is install it in the bridge position of this guitar. And I will get you some sounds, some comparison sounds, and we'll see how this very special pickup does in this great guitar. <laughs> position. <laughs> itself. Thank you. 
of those sound samples were recorded with a Shure SM57. And as often the case, I came away impressed by how good the stock pickup sounded. Uh, I thought it was uh, definitely sounded like a traditional tele pickup. Uh, it has Omnico magnets. Uh, it sounded great. I think this sounded great as well. You can definitely tell the difference visually because this has the uh, flat quarter inch pull pieces here. Uh, I thought this might have had a little bit more articulation. Strangely, I'm not sure that the uh, stock pickup didn't have a little bit more mid-range to my ear, but uh, you heard the sound samples. You can judge for yourself which you preferred. And remember, this is the vintage output quarter pound from the custom shop, not the stock quarter pound, which definitely has uh, more punch than either one of these pickups. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Please like and subscribe. And until next time. Keep on rocking.